हेलो एवरी वन आई एम विजय गाडवे एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द डेटा स्टोर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट द डेटा असेट गो टू डेटा दिस इज द डेटा स्टोर दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड अजूअर एम एल अंडर स्कोअर डी एस जीरो टू टू क्रिएट द डेटा असेट क्लिक ऑन डेटा असेट एंड क्रिएट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू स्पेसिफाई द नेम ऑफ द डेटा असेट ऑटोमोबिल प्राइज डेटा यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द डिस्क्रिप्शन लेट एस स्पेसिफाई द सेम ऑटोमोबिल प्राइज डेटा सी एस वी फाइल आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू स्पेसिफाई द टाइप हियर वी हैव टू कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट वन इज डेटा असेट टाइप्स from azure ml v2 apis and data set types from azure ml v1 apis under the v2 apis we have three options file folder and table here we will get all the information type learn more about the data asset types data concepts in azure machine learning this is the azure documentation scroll down data types to reference a single file we have to specify uri file in v2 api to reference a single folder we have to specify uri folder and for the table we have to specify ml table you can see these three options here file that is uri file folder uri folder table ml table and for the v1 apis we have to specify tabular or file here we will select this option tabular now note down an important point i have selected this option file uri to create the data asset but in the azure machine learning studio this v2 api is not supporting so we will go with the tabular option from v1 apis at the time of this recording this option is not working in future it may work so we have selected the name name of the data asset automobile price data description and the type next here we have to choose a source for data asset these are the options from azure storage from local files from sql databases from web files and from azure open data sets we have to select this option from azure storage next select the data store here you can select the type as well next this is the folder data select the file automobile price data dot csv let us explore the advanced option this is the partition format as of now we are not going to specify next validating under the settings we have to specify the file format delimited delimiter comma encoding utf8 column headers all file have same headers and skip rows none this is the preview of the data data set contains multi line data no so we don't have to check this box this is the preview of the data next here we have to specify the schema from here you can include or exclude the columns by the column name you can change the type as well these are the options string boolean integer decimal decimal dot and decimal comma and date these are the example values for each column date format and properties keep all as default 
next this is the review here we can review all the information that we have specified you can edit the same from here as well data type data source storage information storage path settings and the schema now hit on create so the data asset is created successfully under the attributes we can see the details type table that is ml table data set type tabular created by from here we can view the profile files in data set 1 total size of files in data set current version 1 this is the latest version created time and modified time from here we can edit the tags we can edit the description as well and this is the information about the data source this is the data store name relative path from here you can perform the actions view in data store browse and view in azure portal data store uri and storage uri so in this video we have successfully created the data asset in the next video we will explore the same